Just like many other countries across Europe, Poland has been investing heavily into its armed forces. Part of this investment includes three brand new multi-role frigates for the country's navy. And so, in today's video, we take a look at what Miecznik class vessels are all about. According to NavalTechnology.com, the first vessel of the Miecznik class frigates is scheduled to enter service in 2029. It's still quite some time from now, so let's look at where it all began and what work has taken place thus far. In order to be able to respond to security threats, Poland launched its Miecznik program, which will see the acquisition of three multi-role frigates. The Polish word Miecznik translates to swordfish. Naval Technology reports that things officially kicked off in July 2021, with the PGZ Miecznik Consortium being contracted to design, construct and deliver the three frigates with an integrated combat system. The consortium comprises the state-owned defense company PGZ and the Polish shipyards PGZ Stocznia Wojenna and Remontowa Shipbuilding. The total value of the Miecznik program, including the fire control systems and logistics package, is approximately $1.9 billion, making it one of the largest contracts in the history of the Polish defense industry. The Miecznik frigates are said to be based on the Arrowhead 140 ship, a design from Babcock International. The Arrowhead 140 is designed to meet the requirements of the British Royal Navy's Type 31E General Purpose Frigate Program and is based on the Iwa Wittfeld hull by Owenser Maritime Technology. The Iwa Wittfeld class of air defense frigates entered service with the Royal Danish Navy in 2012 and 2013. And so we can see that the core design certainly has a history, and hopefully this means years of proven service. At the same time, the Arrowhead 140 design has been adapted to the requirements of the Polish Navy, and the Miecznik vessels will be equipped with a number of state-of-the-art weapon systems. In terms of technical specifications, the vessels will be 138 meters long, 20 meters wide, and 10 meters high, with a displacement of approximately 7,000 tons. They will accommodate 100 to 120 personnel and have an operational endurance of 30 days at sea without replenishment. Their maximum speed is 28 knots and will have a range of 8,000 nautical miles. Advanced sensors come from Talis's Tacticos combat management system and will include sonars, infrared sensors and radars to provide comprehensive detection, identification, command and control and decision-making capabilities. The sonar suite will include the Blue Hunter hull-mounted sonar and Captus 2 towed array sonar. This promises to offer a comprehensive multi-sensor evaluation of the underwater environment. Vessels will also be fitted with SM400 Block 2 and NS50 radars. The former is engineered to perform long-range air and surface surveillance, helicopter control and weapon control functions concurrently with a maximum range of 400 kilometers. The latter, NS-50 radar, in conjunction with the TSA-6000 IFF-1 interrogator, offers advanced capabilities in air and surface detection, tracking and classification. The vessel will also be equipped with an Artemis infrared search and track system and STIR 1.2 EO Mark II fire control radar. In terms of armaments, vessels will have the Sea Scepter Naval Air Defense System to handle air and surface threats such as supersonic anti-ship missiles and unmanned surface vessels. They will also feature Mark 41 vertical missile launchers and new common anti-air modular missiles. Ships will also be fitted with a 76mm medium-caliber Otomelara Super Rapid Strales cannon and two 35mm OSU 35K guns which utilize programmable ammunition. Finally, for weaponry, these ships will be fitted with remotely operated weapons modules that include large caliber machine guns, as well as manually operated large caliber machine guns. The torpedo arsenal will consist of two sets of twin torpedo tubes. And so, with this program being launched a few years ago, how much has been accomplished thus far? Well, the keel for the first frigate, named ORP Vige, was laid in 2024, while the ship will be launched by 2026. 
Work will continue after launch, but the Navy still expects that the frigate will enter service in 2029. According to NavalToday.com, a steel-cutting ceremony for the second vessel, named ORP Borgia, took place in Gdynia on May 5, 2025. The third vessel, to be named ORP Huragan, will have its first steel plate burn in Q3 2026 and keel laying in Q4 2026, followed by launch in Q3 2028. In case you don't know Polish, Wiche means whirlwind, Boja means storm, and Huragan means hurricane. And so that's where things currently stand with Poland's future Miecznik class frigates. It looks like these multi-role vessels will be loaded with a lot of tech and advanced weaponry, and will hopefully do a good job of protecting Poland's interests in the Baltic Sea. So, what do you think of this program and these ships? Let us know by leaving a comment.